Welcome to Deadly Dames and this is this week's pickup video. I got one steel book which you can see in front of you is the Spider-Man Homecoming movie. I actually really enjoyed this film. I loved that it wasn't another origin story because let's face it we've seen the amazing Spider-Man and then we've seen Sam Raimi's Spider-Man. We really didn't need to know the origins of it again and if you've read the graphic novels then you've, you've read it a million times how Spider-Man comes about. I just loved how um, this Spider-Man sort of picked straight up from his um, outing in the last Captain America movie and that was for me just worked. Um, I really do like the actor that they've got playing Spider-Man as well because at least he's more the age of what the character should be. But yeah, I thought I've got the steelbook of um, all the other Spider-Man movie and that wasn't really the main reason why I wanted this and I just really liked this steelbook. It's actually a good addition as well because it's got the 4K, the CD and the standard Blu-ray in there so it's a really nice steelbook. As well as that, I did pick up one, well I got two DVDs, but one that's not related to the other stuff, um, and it's a manga movie, so it's The Boy and the Beast. I've been watching a lot of sort of manga and animated stuff recently, and it's mainly because one of my friends loves this, and he keeps recommending stuff to me, and I, I love them, I'm loving them all. Um, I love the animation in them, because you could tell a lot of it's hand-drawn, and a lot of attention to details gone into it, but... I haven't got a chance to watch this one yet, I picked it up because it was in an HMV sale, it was really cheap and I just, it looked really good. The other DVD I got was part of the Arrow Video sale. I've spent so much money in all their sales because of Black Friday and then obviously because Arrow Video was moving its warehouse and it basically just had a massive sale. So I got this one with my points and it just came through the door this morning. There is another one on its way which I bought with, with the arrow video points as well. Excuse me, I couldn't get that out there. Um, but that's not arrived yet, so it's the Untamed. Now I just picked up the DVD of this because by the time that the, the sale had kind of like sold out of almost everything, so the DVD was all, all that was left. But this looks pretty brutal. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to giving it a go. So this is one of the Arrow Academy ones. And then from Arrow Video I also got in the sale as well, um, Stormy Monday. I've never even heard of this or seen it before, but it's got a lot of good folk in it, so... And when I read the back of it, it, it sounds pretty interesting. This one looks mad, um, and again, it was in the sale, so that's why I went for it. Um, Clown, it looks absolutely mad, so I, I have no idea what to expect from that, because I've never seen or heard of it before. Um, I am a big comic book fan, as you probably know, me and, me and Claire both love our graphic novels. Now I've read a couple of Judge Dreads but I've never read, like, I've lo not read lots and it's always a series that I'd really like to get into so if there is anybody out there that reads a lot of AD and a lot of Judge Dread stuff let me know which ones are good to kind of start with to get you into it but I picked up this as well in the sale because I thought well there's no better way than to sort of find out a bit more about AD than to watch the story of it so yeah I got this. <coughs> Finally picked up Cycle 2 and again just got it in the sale because it was a good price. And another box set which I've been eyeing for ages but it was always quite expensive. And the reason why I never bought it before is because I've actually never seen them. They just sounded really interesting and I was waiting for them to kind of drop to a price that was affordable. And I got it in the, the Arrow sale and it's this one here, the, the loving <coughs> excuse me, um, box set. The loving excuse me box set, well you can see it anyway, but it looks really interesting. Every single time I do these videos, I start coughing. And it doesn't matter how long I sit there going, no cough, I'm not coughing, that's good, time to start. As soon as I press play, <laughs> I start coughing. Uh, and one book, um, I'm still waiting on one of these books to be released, um, I can't remember which one it was. I think it was Blair Witch because I've got Ghost in the Shell already. Um, I love the Arrow video I've started doing these. Um, it's a Ghost in the Shell. The only thing I find quite strange is that they have released... Now what's the one I've already released that I've got upstairs? I think it's Lady Snowblood. But that's fine because they obviously they've released her movies but they haven't released Ghost in the Shell and they haven't released Blair Witch unless it's something that's coming in the future. Um, but I did really like that they've done the books and there's a lot of interesting stuff in here as you can see. It's almost kind of like they've taken the big massive book that they released 
I then condensed it into smaller ones and I really hope that they keep doing this because so far the ones that they've released have been really interesting and again I picked this up in the sale so and I love Ghost in the Shell, I love the new movie and I know it got a hard time but I loved it and I loved the original animated movie I still to watch 2.0 <clears throat> but yeah I love the story of the Ghost in the Shell, I think it's a great great idea is what I was trying to say but my mind wasn't working and then one <coughs> I'm so sorry. One second sight went through this week, um, and that is the sign of four. Um, I don't know if you see my video last week where I was talking about how I went to see Murder in the Orient Express, and I really loved it. I loved that kind of detective thing. It reminded me a lot of like Tintin or like Sherlock, and that's what kind of put me in the mood to watch this. So because I watched the Dutch version of Tintin, the live action one, and then I watched another Agatha Christie one and then I thought I'm going to watch some more Sherlock and I knew that these guys had released this so that's why I picked it up. I think they've also released um, The Hounds of... Is it Baskerville? I might be saying that wrong. But I know that Arrow Video also released it. I don't know if they're the same or if they're different so if anybody does know, let me know. And then some 88 film stuff. So um, this is one which I have always wanted to see. I remember seeing it on a VHS shelf when I was a kid and I never ever got the chance to buy a train or to rent it out. And that's the reason why I bought it brand new because I knew that I wanted to watch it. And that is One Dark Night. It's a cheesy looking slasher so I thought I'm going to give that one a go. And then 88 has got a Black Friday sale in their Italian collection just now. They've actually got quite a few things in sale but their Italian collection is the one which is for Black Friday. So I bought Watch Me When I Kill. And obviously this is a slip um, case. I don't know what that's meant to be. I thought it was maybe meant to be like a cat person. But there's the traditional one. And then I've got The Eye of the Hurricane as well. This one here. So there's a the slip and the cover underneath is actually just the same. I need to flip it around and see if it's different. But yeah, that's everything that I picked up this week. Again, I did get a couple of more graphic novels. Claire and I also got tempted into VR and we have been motion sick since playing it. I've also screamed my lungs out at the shark encounter VR. Um, it says shark encounter, it does not say shark attack. So I think that is like mis misleading on you press play to it because it was absolutely petrifying and um, I think the thing about VR that's so scary is that because it is virtual reality obviously you can turn around and see see behind you and I end up wrapped in the wires at one stage I was like oops because <laughs> I was turning around so much but I felt so sick after playing a space one and it wasn't even the, the turning around or the shooting or the things jumping up and down and side to side for me it was the actual walking motion oh it made me feel so sick but um, yeah, that is um, everything that we got this week, apart from a VR rant there. But as normal, um, thank you for watching. We are still finishing off our Women in Horror on Twitter, so we've got a few days left of that to go on. Got some really good people still to be added. And then next month we're going to be doing Men in Horror, and then we're thinking for January we do movie quotes. Just put the quote on. Don't need to say what movie it's from. We're just going to try and pick films which are well known and you're going to know what the quotes are anyway. We actually thought about for some of them doing like one half of the quote the day before and then the second half the day after. Like, in fact, I won't say any because we'll save it for the quotes. But yeah, we're thinking about doing that on Twitter. We're still doing Letterboxd and I remember the name of it and we're putting every movie that we've watched on there. I'm a little bit behind because we have seen... I've seen something that I've not added yet. I'm trying to remember what it is, but we're a little bit behind. So go and watch us on the uh, sorry, join us on Letterbox. That I'm enjoying it. I like seeing what other people's opinions are of movies. It kind of helps when you're going to buy stuff because you don't want to pick up a movie just because every magazine says it's good, and then you, as a movie watcher, as a horror fan or a, or a genre fan watch it and you go this is absolute cack what were they talking about but if you find people on letterbox who seem to have a lot of the same opinions as you do which is very easy to do because i've found a lot already um, it's actually very easy to see what they think about the movie before you buy it or before you go and watch it because <clears throat> it saves you wasting your time but as always thank you for watching 
please like and subscribe and take care